Season 13 of Blue Bloods has been running along pretty smoothly as the primetime drama keeps its fans hooked, but there's no end to the interesting ways the series' creatives will torment Frank Reagan and his extended crime-fighting family. In today's video, we're going to find out what Will Estes actually thought of Jamie and Eddie's beloved pairing. We're also talking about the most adorable addition to the cast, so let's get into it. Starting off with Will Estes' original thoughts about the couple. Sarge says we're, uh, we're riding together. Something wrong? No, um, I was expecting, uh... Fat, sweaty, Hungarian guy. Back in 2021, Will Estes revealed his initial thoughts about his character's relationship with Eddie, and it wasn't anything enthusiastic. In an interview with Glitter Magazine, he was asked what he liked best about the relationship, and he responded, I never wanted them to get together. I hated the idea. Yikes. But he didn't just dislike them for no reason. In fact, he had a pretty solid reason for it. Many on-screen pairings are great during the will-they-won't-they -they phase given the tension and chemistry, but afterward, they lose the spark. Estes was worried that Jay Jamie and Eddie's union might mean the end of that storyline entirely. But here's the thing, as time went on and their storyline developed, his opinion of the couple changed as well, and it had a lot to do with his off-screen friendship with Vanessa Ray. The actor went as far as to say that working with her is one of the best parts of working on the series. Their chemistry makes much more sense now, as it wouldn't be possible to develop such a bond on screen if the actors didn't enjoy each other's company as much. They also have to spend the most time with each other, and it would be pretty impossible if they didn't even like like each other. This is great news for fans of the couple as well, since their bond will probably keep them together as long as the series is on the air. Next up, Jamie's recent injury might have complicated things for the pair. While the two get along famously, you never know when a bad patch might come along to make things difficult for them. Unfortunately, the Reagan family's golden boy recently went through a near-death experience after he got shot on the job. He just barely missed being paralyzed, and that experience left a strain on his relationship as well. The couple had been going strong for the last three seasons ever since they got married, but the most recent tragedy brought some changes to their rock-solid relationship. What complicated this difficult time was the blurred line between their professional and domestic lives lives. But it's nothing the fans should worry about too much. The two will most definitely work through whatever problems they face during the course of their relationship, and hopefully, they'll come out stronger each time. Coming up, not all fans are obsessed with Jamie and Eddie. Wish I didn't have court. Mm, it's better than being stuck in Jersey traffic. No, I mean, I wish I could come with you. While the couple has a large and loyal fan base, there are quite a few who don't share the same sentiments. According to a fan on Reddit, Eddie doesn't behave the right way with Jamie. Eddie's behavior has been called contradictory and inconsistent, as she complains about Jamie not having her back, yet berates him for being there for her too. Like, make up your mind? And in response to this, even Jamie's behavior becomes inconsistent as he puts her in her place one minute, then comes apologizing for wronging her later on. As it turned out, they weren't the only ones who saw their relationship in this light. The fans might be pretty split over this relationship, but some users on Reddit agreed that the reality of their bond wasn't as rosy as one might believe it to be. Once again, what complicates their relationship is the difficult dynamic it exists in. Not only is Jamie Eddie's superior, but he's also her husband. The twofold nature of this relationship makes it difficult to make independent decisions. But is it possible that Eddie uses that to take advantage of her husband and manipulate his decisions in her favor? Let's look at some more Redditor reactions. Another Redditor agreed with the earlier user's post by claiming that Eddie was one of the worst characters on the show. It's more like Beauty and the Beast. Come on, Jamie. It's torture. Eddie, I need both you guys to stop coming to me and do your jobs. They even went as far as to say that they wished she didn't get as much screen time as she did. Now, that's pretty harsh. Do y'all agree? Yet another user affirmed the original post by adding that Eddie would be triggered by anything and everything. They felt that she used this as an excuse to bully Jamie, even if he was just working and doing the right thing. This was especially annoying for the Redditor, because the reasoning behind this behavior is selfish, as according to them, she does it to gain the favor of other officers in the precinct. Despite the reasoning behind Eddie's behavior, many fans think of her as a bully. 
but where there are haters of the couple, there are fans too. Moving on, Jamco fans logically justify Eddie's behavior. The number of fans who adore the couple isn't falling short by any means. These steadfast believers of Jamco stuck up for them in the Reddit thread started by the initial user. They focus on the unique dynamic that Jamie and Eddie have, as it's the main driving force in their relationship. According to them, Jamie gives his wife a hard time only to avoid being called out for favoritism the way his father does for him and his brother. And then there's Eddie, who also lets her personal life and experiences influence her professional life while she voices her opinions to her husband. Another Redditor came to Eddie's rescue and claimed that she has to put up with everyone's problems concerning her husband, and yet she stands up for him. Her level as a beat cop puts her in a difficult situation, considering Jamie's position is much above hers. The Redditor then summed up their feelings by saying, they are a very healthy, loving couple with a balance of power that is very good. That's not all, though. Another Redditor gave more political context to the situation in order to explain the dynamic in depth. According to them, women have had to prove themselves in law enforcement to be taken seriously, while men don't have to do anything extra for appreciation. Most importantly, they pointed out that Eddie is only human, and she can't help having both her lives spill into each other. Moving on to the adorable new addition to the cast. Season 12 saw a dry spell when it came to Baez's appearance on screen, but that's taken a sharp turn in season 13. But what's more, she's now entering a completely new phase of her life now, motherhood. If you rewind back to the finale of season 12, you'll remember that she made a decision to adopt a baby that had lost its mother to a horrifying explosion. Nobody in the precinct had stepped up to take care of the child, and so Baez decided to take the initiative. Previously, Maria's role mostly revolved around her presence in the NYPD. The only aspect of her love life that had been explored was her relationship with ex-boyfriend Jimmy Mosley, who also worked for the NYPD as a member of the Brooklyn Robbery Squad. Even though season 12's finale gave us a glimpse into her life as a mother, the fans were overjoyed to finally see the child in season 13. The viewers even shared their excitement on social media, given that this was a huge deal for them. Taking to Twitter, a fan expressed their excitement for the twist in Maria's life as it showed a new side to her. What's more, another fan was just excited about getting to see the baby, and all the fans agreed that the baby was absolutely adorable. One viewer was won over by Elena's cheeks specifically. Finally, Marissa Ramirez is a mother in real life as well. Since the fans loved seeing Marissa Ramirez on screen with a baby, it'll be even better to know that she already has a child of her own. The actress gave birth in May 2016 to her first child, a baby girl named Violet Ray. Back when her daughter was born, Marissa introduced her as Little Miss Violet Ray and admired the fact that she was a happy and healthy child. At the time of her surprising pregnancy, Marissa was 38. Even at that point in time, her team had been there to help her transition into motherhood the same way they supported her on screen. But they were also so happy for her that Donnie Wahlberg even did a little happy dance upon hearing the news. Originally, Ramirez was unaware of the baby's gender as well, but that didn't carry on for too long. By April, the actress held a floral-themed baby shower in New York City with her fellow cast members, Bridget Moynihan and Abigail Hawk, in attendance. Not only has motherhood been a joyful experience for the actress, but she's also gotten all the knowledge she could have possibly needed for Baez's new phase of life. And that's all for this video, guys. Are you enjoying Season 13 so far? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you at the next one.